Hello, welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. I've got a beer from Lidl, and it's uh, a limited edition run from the uh, always popular Hatherwood range. And this is their Winter Special Ale, coming in at 5% ABV. Um, I'm assuming they've brought this out because it's nearly Christmas, a few weeks away now. So a 500ml bottle, 5% ABV, Winter Special Ale from Hatherwood Craft Beer Company. Um, yeah, it was £1.39 in my local Lidl. Uh, it's got a little bit of flavour text on the back. It says, Winter Special is a heartwarming ale to melt away your winter blues. Dried fruit and spice notes taste all the better as the nights draw in and the Christmas lights go up. Its sweet toffee malts are balanced with a peppery bitterness. That's what we call festive spirit. So, yeah, the usual spiel. Uh, doesn't tell you where it's brewed or anything like that. They never give away the information. But um, yeah, another one for the Hatherwood range. So winter special, there is the cap, winter special. In general, all the beers in the Hatherwood range are okay. Um, so we'll see what this one's like, shall we? Always good to get out uh, the uh, the winter special beers and the Christmas beers. And I tell you what, just on the pour of this one, has a rather nice aroma. In fact, that's got a really nice aroma. There she is. Lovely. Kind of mahogany looking beer there. Dark brown. Lovely red tint to it. That's got a solid finger just off white head. Slight tan look to it, but it looks like a really, really good looking ale. Um, there's some carbonation on it as well. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up. Might do, not quite sure. But yeah, there's some carbonation rising up the glass and that. Uh, but generally that's a pretty clear looking sort of chestnut looking ale and the head which is just slowly starting to fade now but that looks good it's encouraging it's getting aroma smells quite inviting sweet kind of toffee malt dark fruit certainly and there's a subtle sort of cinnamony spice to it has it got any ingredients? Nope. Other than that it contains barley. Not a lot to be said. Um, but that's a nice aroma. Very malty. Slight winter spice feel to it. It smells okay. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. It's got a bit of body, this one. I wasn't expecting that. Really malty. Toffee malt. Very subtle caramel flavour to it. And fruity. Dark fruits. Raisins, sultanas. It's a very subtle, very subtle kind of cinnamon warmth. The back that I'm getting. But it's really got a good body to it. Really kind of coats your palate, this one. It's just got a bit more to it. A bit more body to it. I reviewed the, um, the hog's back. Advent Ale, which I've since been told by a couple of people that they've had a good bottle of it. So I may have had a bad batch. I might go back and get another one. And um, see if I just, yeah, to see if I had a bad bottle. But it was thin, it was watery, had no real flavour to it. This is completely different. Completely different. The more I drink it, the more I'm enjoying it. It's malty as, as hell. Loads of dark fruit character on there. Lots of raisins, sultanas. Toffee malt. Slight caramel malt to it. And there is a really subtle, and it is peppery. 
as they said on the bottle, it is a peppery, slightly spicy, bitter finish. And I mean winter spice, I don't mean Carolina Reaper spicy. I mean like a cinnamon, you know, almost sort of a nutmeg type finish to it. It's It just has that wintry Christmas kind of feel to it. But the thing that surprised me the most about this beer is the body to it. It's kind of... Um, Dare I say it, it's kind of um, medium bodied. It's thick. It really coats the palate. It doesn't look it in the glass, but uh, as soon as it hits your tongue and hits the side of your mouth, it goes to work. And there's a nice gentle carbonation to it as well that really throws that malty flavour around you, that caramel, the toffee, that dark fruit. It's like Christmas cake flavours all at you. And then at the end you've got this pleasant, slightly peppery, bitter finish at the back end. Um, I quite like it. I quite like it. I think that's a well-rounded, a well-rounded ale. Nothing wrong with that, really. And the aroma's nice as well. Every time you're going for another swig... You get that kind of Christmas cake and toffee malt kind of aroma right up your nostrils. That's decent. That is, that is half decent. That's not bad at all. Um, it seems to be proving difficult to find Christmas beers in the supermarkets at the moment. It seems to be getting less and less. I've not found any of the Hathaway, um, Hathaway, any of the Witchwood ones yet. I'm hoping they turn up in the next couple of weeks, otherwise um, it's going to be a different Christmas for me this year. Um, excuse me. Um, I like it. I like that. That is a nice multi, multi British style ale with a nice winter vibe to it. That kind of uh, slightly spicy finish, wintry spice finish, that sort of Christmas cake, fruit cake sweetness you get on it. I like the body. I like that it coats my palate. I like it even now. I can still taste that slightly spicy finish to the beer. Um, that's good quality stuff. That's not bad at all. Considering this was 20p cheaper than the, the Hogsback one. Um, yeah, I like it. It's uh, it's, it's not blowing my mind. It's not the most amazing ale I've ever, think, I've ever had, uh, ever drunk. But, um, get me words out. But that's solid. That is a solid beer to have stocked up this year at Christmas, I think. I'd, I'd go out and buy, the, buy a few more of those, I think. I think I'd probably go do that. Go to Lidl and get a few more. It's decent. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It does what um, it advertises itself to do. It is a wintry ale. And it's very good for Christmas. It's a perfect Christmas beer. I think it's uh, not too bad at all. So 7 out of 10 for Lidl's Winter Special from the Hatherwood Craft Beer Company. 5% ABV. 500ml bottle. £1.39. Decent purchase, I think. I think that's pretty solid. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one, you take care.